first impressions of the new SSG. Um, camera looks okay. Sorry if it's crooked a little bit. That'll be okay. First things first, let's just not tear this up. Let's nicely open it gently. What do we got here? He gave me a letter. What's up everybody? Welcome to Airsoft Hollywood. We're gonna go ahead and open up this box right here. Just came in. Let's see what we got here. This is, there you go. The SSG10 Black. All right, we got the 2.2 joules version. I also got my other marksman rifles all out here. We got ourselves the LDT right here. Um, I believe that's by King Arm gas rifle. Then we got our GNG uh, DMR right here. And then I got my, um, of course, Novich SSG 24 with the suppressor and it's wrapped full scope and everything. So nice little setup there. And we're gonna be opening this box up, but perfect timing. It just came in today and now it's snowing. Some snow gameplay tomorrow, hopefully. Um, and today we're gonna get some trial and error. My buddy and I are gonna go ahead and take some of these BBs we got here. We got tons of Novich BBs. We got some .49s and .46s. And we're gonna get these um, BBs going and, and try them out and really test, which is the A2 is the upgraded, like feels real, very heavy, very durable uh, rifle. Um, and I didn't go with that one because I wanted something that was light. Because to me, the SSC 24 is a hefty rifle that's pretty bulky and, sh not bulky, but, but strong and durable. Uh, so I want to see the difference. I really wonder if it's going to be that much better because it's it's cost less money. And everybody's hyped up about, I believe it's the A2. Whichever one is the <coughs> more um, strong rifle, uh, the more expensive one, the $499 one. I went with the $299 one. Um, so it's just like... Is there a difference? Uh, I think there is, but is it significantly different to where I got cheating out? But it's $200 less, but I don't know. You know, it's just like, did I not, am I not, am I gonna get what it's worth? We're gonna see when I, my initial response when I open it up. Cool, like little look to it. Uh, I really like that. First thing out of the box for an average. Um, excited, excited, excited. He has a little letter in here. Oh, his stickers, my man. <laughs> Was not a fan of the full thrust and the uh, the pistol, the silent pistol. I'm a fan of Tokyo Marui as far as that goes. Tokyo Marui right here. So I didn't go with that one and I didn't go with the full thrust. I just, both of those things, I did not feel like they were completed and they were like haphazard stuff. So anyway, we got ourselves an extra magazine right here. I went with uh, just getting one extra because uh, I wanted to see if aftermarket parts worked as far as VSR 10 compatibility, uh, being this is the SSG 10. Uh, and I just wanted to see that. Ow, I got a hangnail here. It's really painful. Just broke my nail. Anyway, but yeah, so I, I have to say, seems like a really sturdy um, build. We just got two Phillips screws going through the main body right there and then two smaller ones right here uh it has a nice clicking mechanism honestly nothing special there though there's nothing like that it has really nice grips right here um which i like question is i really wonder how is the release going to be because he made such a big deal about that ssg not having the stupid uh, vsr 10 release so i really wonder what the uh, release is on this new rifle. Here it goes. There's that famous Novrich logo. Gotta give it to him. Made a name. Made a brand. Does come with a new Novrich patch. Um, I think the other one I have is a sniper. Those other patches are. I need to go looking for them. I usually wear them on my person. Here we go. We're gonna do it all dramatically. He is. Oh boy, it looks like a VSR-10, not gonna lie. I opened it up and I thought I had a JG in here for a second. All right, box, right? This box does seem like a different dimension, but I think it might be the same. Initial opening, looking at it, it looks like a shorter build, if I may say so. This has a shine to it. 
Uh, definitely not the same type of barrel, I do have to say. This looks like a, from initially looking at it, not saying it's worse or better, but it does look cheaper. Because um, when you come over here and you look at this barrel and you see it, I mean, it just looks raw, it looks mean. But this looks like a toy, especially with that orange tip on there. Uh, looks like we got some some bruising here on the orange tip. I uh, don't really know what that's all about. Um, but yeah, so we got ourselves a manual. Cool. Well, he has his, his videos, so that's how he tells you everything about that. It does tell you to go to his video. Uh, after receiving the SSD, immediately unpack. And uh, yep, so it has it right there. So, but yeah, I like, I like his manuals. Simple, but yet it gives you all the information to go to. So good manuals. Always impressed with that. All right, let's let's get, jump to the chase. Not gonna lie, this feels like a VSR 10. <laughs> Is that necessarily a bad thing? No. Um. Uh. I don't know, man. <laughs> uh. Just saying, it feels like a VSR 10. And yep. So, I'm about to make a lot of jokes. Let's talk. So. He is promoting his A2 version, which is the really popular one right now that everybody's talking about. Um, and that's the one that's like, like just like a real rifle. But I mean, I thought the SSG 24 was supposed to be just like the real rifle. Like it was just like the real thing. And it had the better uh, mag systems, apparently. How is this any better? How is this any better? Um, is my question. I didn't go with the expensive one. I paid $200 less and got this one. Um, so why are you not promoting this one? This Is this all about budget? Is that what it is? I guess it is technically, technically it's like $130, $145 less than this one, depending on when you get it. Um, but I love this one, the beautiful rifle. This is the SSG 24. This is the, the, the flagship of his brand. Um, but this, on the other hand, what the heck? You guys, I'm not going to lie, this feels like an overpriced VSR-10. But, if you think about it like this, the Tokyo Marui VSR-10 is like $280, and you get this... This feels like an upgraded Tokyo Maruri VSR-10. That's what this feels like. This feels like, I know it's going to shoot great. I have no worries in the world that this is going to shoot great. Short, short pull. It honestly feels like a toy pull. The fact that that, that right there was 2.2 .2 joules that I just pulled, I don't believe it. It is quiet. I'll give it to him. It's very quiet and it's very short, but it feels, it's light. I really actually like this build though. It's the VSR 10. That's all it is to it with a fancy barrel. Um, but let's, let's, let's talk more about it. Um, this barrel is massive, just like the SSG 24 was, but let's put both of them down and look at that difference this is just a tad bit shorter by just a little bit so it is shorter by about an inch so i'm going to bring it closer you can see don't look at the suppressor but look at where this ends it does end before the barrel ends um so so yeah there's that my buddy that I'm going to meet up with today, he has a JG bar 10 that shoots really nice. Um, and he uses like three sixes in it. Now this is supposedly going to be able to use four sixes, which are really heavy BBs. That's what I use for the SSG 24, which I'm able to shoot like minimal engagement distance times three with that sniper rifle, like a hundred feet, uh, 50 feet usually. So when it's like 50 feet, I could shoot it times three. So like, uh, we're talking 150 feet. Um, easy, like all day. But I do have to say for like a younger um, 
kids who want to do uh, sniping and want to really get into the sniper role, this is a great upgraded field because of how light it is. Hey, 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 you, you came in. Just come here real quick. Hi. Say hello. Um, this is this is my mom, everybody. Welcome to Airsoft Hollywood. Um, so this is the new one. This is by Nobrich. So she is always complaining about all night guns and how heavy they are. We're going to give this to her and see what her initial response is. All right, I will do the test. Oh, what? Wow. So. I want this. Yeah. Wow, nice. Yeah. So smooth. It, it feels it's like very, a VSR It's comfortable to hold. It's not, it's not, I mean, it's for me, it's good uh, weight. Pull, pull this bolt back, and the way you do it is you lift that up, and then you're going to put your thumb there behind that and pull it back. Um, yeah. Can you pull it back? Yeah. So she was able to pull that back I was able to pull and back. Pu push it forward. You could pull the trigger. There's nothing in there. I could do that. Yep. Feels like you could use it if you were on the field. Yes. So if she could use it, in, in, any age le level can use it. It's a very powerful rifle that feels like it's really light. Now, does it feel like a toy? Does it feel? No, it's got enough weight in it that it feels, you know, like where it can give you some feedback. Okay. Now, now, now Leverage. feel this yeah. one in difference. Yeah. I like it. It's heavier, a little heavier than that one, a lot heavier, actually. And you can't pull that one back. I mean, it's a little harder, but, you know, once I know what to expect. Yeah. It's a little heavier for me. I don't know if I could go a long time a little heavy. Yeah. Feel that difference. Oh, yeah. Much heavier. Yeah. This That's goes, all metal. All metal. Yeah. Yeah. So, you, but... You definitely have to be fit and ready to go. Cool. Well, thank you for your feedback, ma'am. Nice uh, to. I'll have this box out of your way. I know you have people coming to the house. We'll, we'll have all these guns put away, too. Thank you very much. Say bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> well, I just wanted to get this to you as soon as possible. I've had some uh, of my supporters and all my followers say, hey, where's the videos, Tony? Where's the videos? It's a new year, 2020. I'm excited for it. We're going to have lots of videos. The schedule from now on is going to be every Saturday and Friday. I'm going to be posting videos, okay? And I'll post one day during the week. Don't know what that day will be. Because of the way my work schedule works, I can't plan on having it on a specific day throughout the week. But Friday and Saturday, I can plan that I will have a video ready for you. Uh, and then one day during the week. So three videos all together. You should be very happy with that. Um, so thank you so much for your support. Support Airsoft Hollywood. We're all about new airsofters and bringing them to the sport and catching that moment on camera. Uh, that's what I really like. And this as a flagship gun, just know it doesn't feel like a full metal rifle. This um, AEG, which is a DMR, is set up for long range shooting. And this is about a $400 rifle. And this is a $400 rifle. So the question is, which one is worth it? If you're getting an AEG that shoots semi-auto or this one that feels kind of toyish, uh, but is really light. This is really heavy. Um, accuracy with light carry. I do have to say, if I feel like I, f myself being a 260 pound guy, if I fall on this, I feel like I might break it, which I have fallen on this SSG and I don't feel like it would break it. It feels sturdy and, and rock solid, but I do have to say everybody loves the VSR 10. This is like a Tokyo Marui in your hands. The only difference is it's going to shoot far. I, 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 I believe not rich on that. I, I don't question that one bit. I'm glad I never got a VSR 10. So I'm, I'm happy that this is my first VSR 10 ever. Um, but is it worth it? Y'all let me know. Um, I'm going to do a review on it soon. Uh, my initial response is it's not rich. It's his, it's his name. The question is, is it worth it? Uh, but that's everything. Subscribe, leave a like. Thank you so much for watching, and I appreciate everything. I'll see you on the next video. Dang, boy! <laughs>